Hello, Elf here, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through how we take an asset from Maya 2023 into Unreal Engine 5 using USD. USD was the brainchild of Pixar and is open source. It's used amongst many creators, primarily for transferring or transporting data sets between different software. As it says here on the Pixar site, it can contain data such as geometry, shaders, lighting and physics, and also boasts a number of other really nice features too. We have seen a big shift towards USD over the last couple of years and it started to trickle into lots of different applications. So it's obvious that a lot of people feel quite positively about its feature set, like we do here at Anella. So let's get to it. I'm going to open up my scene. I've got my scene open here. And the first thing we want to do is just make sure that we have the plugins loaded correctly. So the best way to do that is to go to your plugin manager and just type in USD and check just to make sure that you've got Maya USD plugin loaded. Um, I know that if you are using Omniverse, um, there are some conflicts that happen between Omniverse and that USD plugin. So just something to bear in mind when you're playing around. So this asset is a cabin. It's, it's very unfinished and it's just the, the start of, of the shell. Um, but we have it in a group. We have a group and then we have the different elements making up that group down here. So we have two ways of doing this really. We could send it across and do all the shading over in Unreal Engine, which is generally the way we, we tend to work. However, sometimes it's nice to uh, be able to have the option to, to render things or in, in Arnold and actually see it in a path tracer and some some of you might be wanting to 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 do some of your shading work over here and then actually send it across into Unreal Engine. So that's sort of the, the pipeline that I'm going to show you now or the process. So I'll just look at this front cladding and I'm going to go up to the hypershade window going to open that one up and in the hypershade I'm going to create a USD preview surface so with your USD plugin you will see that you now have the option to create one of these USD preview surfaces now this is a PBR based surface um, and it is called a preview surface um, so what we have here is all our standard channels that we would have in any P PBR shader. So we've got diffuse, we've got emissive, occlusion, opacity, we have metallic and roughness, and we have normal as well. So this, the way that this works is that it, we can actually get it across into Unreal Engine um, with anything still plugged in. So if we wanted to do a bit of shader work in here, that's absolutely fine. So I've already downloaded a, a few textures that I'm going to bring in. Um, I just need to find those. Okay. So I've got a normal map. I've got a roughness. And I've got a an albedo. What I'm going to do is just take the place 2D texture. I'm holding control and just dragging into the white dot up here. And then with my roughness, I'm going from the out alpha. Let me just spread these out a bit more. Okay, so roughness out alpha into the roughness. I'm making sure alpha is luminance is checked on. The albedo will go into the diffuse color and the normal will go straight into the normal slot here. And then I'm going to apply this to my cladding and I will call it material M for material U 
sd clad and if i actually look at this now in my viewport you'll see that you've got um a, an open gl representation of of your texture here so obviously i have this already uv mapped okay so i've i've plugged in these textures another thing that we do have up here is we can in the plugin manager we do have this thing called hydra so if you search m2h and then check on m2h in here that will enable hydra in your renderer options here as well so we have a viewport 2.0 you'll notice if i switch it to arnold and try to render this you're just going to see this um, default pink color which obviously means that that it has no arnold shader applied but if we go to the arnold hydra and have a look at that you'll notice that you're you're starting to see a representation of your scene as it would be with arnold and i haven't plugged in any arnold shaders this is just um doing that automatically for us so um that's really cool um and i just wanted to show that that was there it's not the point of this um of this demo though so what we're going to do now is select the cabin and we will export this so export selection and then in the file type menu, we have USD export down here. We also have Arnold USD. Um, and yeah, so if we knew that we were sort of staying in the Arnold ecosystem, we could probably check this Arnold USD on and then and then use that. But I'm just going to leave the, the default USD export. And then we have a plugin configuration down here as well, which, which we can check on to Arnold, which I will do. And then .usd file format, I'm going to change to ASCII. And then the parent scope, I'm just going to make sure that I've got a, a relevant name in here, such as cabin. Subdivision method, well, I'm not needing to subdivide my mesh. It's all um, just poly polygonal. So I'm checking this onto polygonal mesh. And then I think all the rest are default, but I'm just going to make sure usd preview surface is checked on and then i will give this a name so let's give this a version 7 because that's how many versions i have gone through to make sure that this is going to be okay for you guys to to do and to follow along with so i've exported that out and i'm going to launch unreal engine now which is over here so I, I have a level and we're going to need to do something similar than uh, to what we did in Maya, where we will enable USD in the plugins. So edit plugins and then USD. And then just make sure that your USD importer is checked on. And then if you are working sort of in teams or in groups, then you can also uh, enable the multi-user sync for for usd importer plugin as well so i've just enabled those two you will need to restart your application just to confirm those changes and then when when you do that what you should be able to access now is at the top we've got window down to virtual production and you should have access to this usd stage now your usd stage is essentially as the name sounds it's a stage or a set or an environment or a world that is going to hold any other usd information okay so you can sort of treat it as being the container for all of the separate usd parts that you might have so i'm going to file new and that will give me my stage and then actually i'm just going to open my my cabin but you can also import it or reference it so i'm going to open and then find the version of my usd and have a look at that now and you can see already that we've got our textures 
coming straight in and applied to our object over here. You'll notice in the outliner that we have a USD stage actor and then underneath we've got the cabin group and that's all we can see in the outliner. But then if you look in the details panel, the group is broken down into the, the, the different elements here. And as you click through, you'll notice that your materials uh, you can you can change down here in the details part. Also in the stage itself, you can access all of the USD information for that for that file. So I can drop cabin group down. I can see all the different parts. I can see all the all the details and information about the mesh or the shading. We've got under looks, we've got the, the shading information. We've got the textures that are being used. And then also we've got these Arnold specific options down the bottom here as well. So that's that's what you get with USD. You get all of that information and carried around so that you can use it as you wish. I will just point out that when I originally tried this, in my static mesh, I was having trouble with my UV channels. And so it, it I had one UV channel, it was UV zero, and it was showing nothing in here. So actually when I applied a material, there, it wasn't right. And it it was like there were, there were no UVs there. And I don't know if this was a bug or not, but for me, the way that I fixed it was by going into Maya and going to my UV editor. And in my UVs, I had to create a new, I copied my UVs to a new set. And then that seemed to work for me. Next time I took it over to Unreal, it recognized the, the UV channel. I'm not sure if this is a bug or not, but um, it doesn't doesn't seem to be happening anymore. So I just wanted to point that out um, and that might that might catch one or two of you out. So yeah, that's how to take an asset from Maya into Unreal Engine using USD. Hope that's been helpful for you guys. If you want to stay updated with the channel, please hit the subscribe button and have a lovely day. Cheers.